Hi everybody and welcome back once again to this week's My Weekly Rage Fix. This week's Parsha is Parsha's Bakude. Again, the Torah goes into all the different details regarding the building of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, and all its vessels therein. Now the person that Hashem appointed in charge of this was a man by the name of B'Tzalel, who was filled with great wisdom, of whom the verse says, Ubalev kol chacham lev nasati chachma. In the mind of the wise, Hashem put chachma, Hashem put more wisdom. And once a heretical woman asked a great sage, why is it that God would put wisdom into somebody who is already wise? Shouldn't he put wisdom into somebody who is foolish? So he answered back, if you were to lend somebody money, would you lend somebody money to somebody who is, has means to pay you back? Or would you lend somebody money to somebody who can't pay you back? So she responded, of course I would lend money to the person who could pay me back. Like that, I have no risk of losing the money. Whereas if I give it to a poor person, my risk is great of losing the money. So he said, so see how you answered your own question. Hashem, when he gives out wisdom, he can't give it to a fool. Because a fool will take that wisdom and misuse it. Whereas if somebody shows a little initiative with a little wisdom of his own, to him Hashem continues to feed him wisdom. So the question that we really should ask ourselves is, who are we? What kind of person are we? Meaning, sometimes Hashem will decide to do the same thing with money. If you get money, what are you going to do with that money? Are you going to go and blow the money and do irresponsible things with that? So if you're an irresponsible person, Hashem says, I can't give you the money. But if you're a responsible person, so then Hashem could give you the money. You're somebody that He can entrust with this money. So that was B'Tzalel. When it came to building of the Mishkan, there was incredible wisdom that needed to be had in order to build this great holy structure of the Jewish people where Hashem allowed His, his Shekhinah, His presence, to reign. And therefore, somebody of great stature needed to be put in charge of this great event, and great, of this great task, and that was B'Tzalel. And of the Mishkan, we say that look how many different details are enumerized in the Torah about the Mishkan. And certain laws, even when it comes to laws of Shabbos, are ignored far and few between because we have learned them from the oral law and other reasons. But the fact that the Torah so much focuses and all the different details that were needed for the building of the Mishkan, it shows us to what Hashem's focus is. And His focus is to be amongst us, to be amongst His Jewish people, to be present amongst them. And therefore, Hashem says, I need somebody who's great in wisdom. Great in wisdom is somebody like B'Tzalel who represents the Jewish people. And Hashem says, because you as a nation are overall wise people, I want to dwell amongst you. So my blessing to you all is that Hashem should dwell amongst you and continue to use your wisdom or whatever blessing that Hashem gives you, use it in the right way and you can be sure that Hashem will give you more. Have a great Shabbos, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.